Hey ho fellas, welcome back to Stasis. So, um, yeah, we just fell into the big goo and uh, now we're heading on. First we go down here. Ooh, lovely. Drainage pipe, not draining much, eh? Let's climb and up. Yep. Oh. It's dark as shit. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, no. Samantha and that bigger thing. Oh. <gasps> Kitty. It's Jupiter. Hello, Jupiter. A magazine and purse. Jupiter, come on, hello little cat, little I'm kitten, little kitten, come here, I am nice, I am nice, oh, <laughs> no, I can't believe that just happened, oh, oh, Oh no! Oh man! Poor Jupiter survived up until I came. Oh man! That's fucked up. Zane Adams! Every single day, Grant brings me this, his poor little cat to the planet. I swear to God, it's going to die of methane in inhal inhalation. June 4th. June 4th. I didn't number my ankle. Doc says I'll need to keep up the weight of, of it for a few days. I hope Gron can pick me up can pick up the slack for me. October 31st. Some of these idiots think that fungus spreading through the Grom's leg was caused by aliens. The place is disgusting, so of course it's going to be overrun with mold. December 25th. A few guys tried to get tram station B. A few guys tried to get tram station B repaired. I wanted to go help, uh, but I don't know shit about trams or stations. Anyway, they haven't come back yet, so everyone's more than a little worried. December 20th. The guys in sleeping box B are abs absolutely fucked. I am reasonably sure that we're next. Stacy almost didn't make it. Poor girl's too young for this. That's a funny thought. Who is old enough for this? Who reaches a point in their life where they figure they'll be ready to be ripped apart by God knows what? And then you're dead. Oh. Unfortunate. Little epic loading screen. Wow, 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 wow. Droopa droop, droopa droop, droopa droopa droop. Oh, hello. Pump station terminal. Okay, so. I want to remove. No, that sounds like Mario. Dude, that is Mario. That is when Mario jumps on the Goomba. <laughs> Up? No, okay. Two pipes. Whoa. So I need to. Oh. Eh -eh. Oh, I can pling plan. No. -uh. Okay. Oh. How do you want this done then? Uh huh. Is there any way for me to see? Tim, methane is explosive, right? Eh? Highly. Why would there be methane tanks under the crew quarters? Kane doesn't care about safety. They're driven by profit. Hmm. This is the elevator to the annex. Can you climb it? No. It's just the shaft. I can't see an entrance. Hmm. 
Do 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 switch. Chemical water, very nice. How am I supposed to do it? Can I just guess it? Maybe I can't. Okay, Piper, Piper, I, uh, whatever. I'm going back. And we're heading this way. Pity, man. Undeserved. Down into the zoop. Can we get the corpse? No. Methane, more methane, valves, ooh. Oh, wait, here we go. So, down, up. No, down, down, down. Left, I need to actually write that down. So, we have up. Oh, wrong button. We have down. Up, up, and then unknown, or down, up, up. And then maybe we just need to try this out, okay. Hmm. Rip guy. Okay, yeah, what did I say? Down, up, up. Down, up, up. Oh, I did that right, actually. Here we go! Big sucker! Yeah, that should gonna explode, the methane. Yeah, suck it all up. Big gulp. Nice. So now I'll climb down. And let's see. This massive shaft exists to flush the collected sewage out of the chamber. The tube is constructed from the extensively reinforced. It's been three months since all of this happened. Shouldn't there be a rescue mission on the way? This is a deep space vessel. It can operate indefinitely. If it wasn't for the psychological effects of deep space travel, she wouldn't even need a new crew. So nobody's looking for us. No, and even if they were, there's no way for them to find us. Three months is a long time adrift. Hmm. Pipe. I need to plug this pipe up, I think. Leaking methane gas. Yeah, that ain't good. Can we use you? I don't think this will fit. Okay. Can I go into the tank? No, that's death. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to. This isn't going to work. No, that won't work. Okay. Can't use it I on can't you. See it working like that. Hmm. Oh, the valves, the valves, the freaking valves. Yeah, climb. John, the ladder, the ladder. Oh, I need to press OK. I need to be specific. Now get over, head on over here. I can't move this. Row valves that release various tubes. Small effects of pain. Think that the wheels were once better. Why can't I use them? Exposed and broken pipes retreat from the ground. There's a faint haze of combustion methane escape from the industrial prison. Huh. Okay, well, maybe. Maybe I need, we need to go back anyways. 
get something from the left side. One place when we first drop into the goop. Or maybe we'll need to move these release valves from the catwalk. The row, each one corroded. It is freaking cool. Can I? Not using on that. Not using on that. I can't do anything there. No, 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 no. Two corpses. Man, Chuck Stewart and Andre Sins. Man, poor fellas. Well, back we go. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I have no water. <coughs> oh, that water was not very nice. Come on now, John. Jonathan. Johnston. Jorm, come on. Yeah, but there's a party. Why is there a party down here? John Kernast. Oh yeah, it's because we're on uh, under entertainment block. And is this furnace glass the whole submerged skeleton seems to lurk in wait like a prehistoric predator? Okay. Another corpse. Remy Andre Bord Borgen. Hmm. Okay, let's go up here. Wow! See these people were just killed. I could be skinned. Hmm. No. I went hunting with my uncle when I was a kid. I know what skinning looks like. I did it myself, but but I saw it. I'm a vegetarian. Hmm. Let's check out the smoking vending machine. I would need me a cigarette. Ah, I need a smoke. Let's drill this bitch. Like I'm pretty sure you can drill through that. You just need to drill a couple of hundred times. Okay, let's check out the PD. What happened here? Neville Chambers. Chambers. Uh, can't believe I'm actually in space. I know that a whole lot of people have been here, but you really don't appreciate the cosmos until you see it from beyond Earth, Earth's atmosphere. It's not something to be taken for granted. I hope this is the beginning of a long journey for me. If I could just live in the void for 30, I would give anything. June 24th. I don't miss Earth at all. Unbelievably. The gases of passing asteroids are less cold than most humans. It's amazing to see all the constellations up close and personal. I've started writing a comic about myself. The Space Adventurer. Although... Play the game Holocue. Free game coupon. Oh, cool. Um, blah, 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 blah. Although I've just been sweeping the... Dusting on the Groom Lake, I know it's my key to becoming one with the cosmos. September 11th. My comic book is coming along nicely. I've decided that I'm going to make myself a superhero, but I'll lead a team of super geniuses and will use the power of the universe to save it. My sidekick is Carl Sagan. Einstein pilots the Bride Pond. That's my awesome ship. And Hawking crushes stuff with his cybernetic limbs. Issue 1 done. December 26. Despite what I've been through, I still love space. I've seen enough movies to know how this is going to end for me. I wish my comics books hadn't been lost in the tremors. They were pretty much my final testament. I even finished issue 6. We destroy a race of parasitic squid-like guys, except we keep one as pet and train it to fight for us. It also bites Einstein, who gets a cool scar as a result. Anyway, it's too late for that. I'm gonna spend my final days Taking in the universe through any window I can find. Peace out, universe. Damn, okay. Neville went out in style. Well, skin style. Okay. Holographic man, what can we do with you? Blue. This looks like a recent hmm. 
Så dank dit daan door alle sways haar hips te zijn toen. Oh, hot babe. Real. Yes. Truly. Oh, you broke it. <gasps> he did not break it. Ah, I know where we can use this little thing. Pile of bodies. Oh man, skills remains. They clutter together around the room as if they died in a stampede or clutching each other. Some of the bones hold to scraps of flesh. <laughs> um. Huh. Ooh. Pool cue. Oh wait, here's another PDA. Stacy Dippenauer. Pammy and I had a great evening together. This mysterious alcohol is pretty much a miracle. It made my throat burn terribly though, ha <laughs> November 23rd. Oh my god. I thought I was literally going to starve. This stupid fungus crap ruined all the food. We finally got a delivery and it was great to eat something. The new food is as good as the food Hydro makes though. November 27th. I wonder if Kane Corp would let me volunteer for Project Seed. Surely they give you some great benefits for volunteering. You just have to have been pregnant before, I think. Do abortions disqualify you? I'll look into that. November 30th. Nope. They need volunteers who have actually birthed a baby or miscarried late in the pregnancy. You also have to be at least 18 years old. For whatever reason, how did Kane know I was 17 anyway? I thought those documents looked darn realistic. Oh well, I guess I didn't want a bunch of experiments on me anyway. December 19th. I'm literally freaking out. The crew lake went like BOOM! And then stuff started falling and shaking. I almost got a fork stuck in my neck. Jeb got caught under a bed. Now I feel bad for calling him a creepy old man all the time. December 20th. I had a good idea. I said that we should use the tubes that we send experiments through to get people like medical. Uh, to get people to medical because the trams are broken. Everyone loves me now. Tam is going to help. She's so brave sometimes. I'd go too, but she said not to. She's kind of like my mom to me. But she says that she would uh, that would be weird because we're best friends. December 26th. Tam is not back yet. I don't know what to do. If I ever had if I never had that stupid idea, it should be okay. It's my fault. Robin says it's not my fault, but I know it is. I'm just so stupid and useless, like I was at home. I don't even have a home. All I do is hurt people. December 28th. I wanted them to get me. I wanted them to get me. I killed Tammy and now it's my turn. Sing carried me to the recreation area. I kicked and screamed as loud as I could, but he dragged me in anyways. I wish I could be a good person like him. I'm useless. I think I'll sit by the door so that they can get me first. Maybe I can buy everyone else a second or two. Oh man. Poor Stacy. What? What was that? Sweet party though. Market of mud. Now we got a pool queue. Let's go. Um. Steven, Edward, Paul, David, Justin, some other folk, Tom, can I, can't go through there, no sir Bob, can I use, yeah I'm not supposed to combine any of this right, no. Oh, I can use it on that though. Smack. Give me a pack of cigarettes. Okay. King Corporation lighter. Oh, that's because I'm supposed to. I'm not supposed to combine. Nope. Won't the methane gas explode though? And kind of kill me? Hmm. I don't know if this is the, the best idea, Johnny boy. 
But here we go. Weed party though. Gotta say. Come on, come on, walk on, walk. Get those little legs going. Then, because we can't head back. Yeah, no, no, no. Gotta head this way. Yup, yup, yup. Hype. Path these ducts form a wave that runs along the top of this unnavigatable thicket of tubes. Can I? I can't get. I don't think I'll need to get up there actually. Whoop. Here we go. And now out this way, because we can't go there. No, we can't. And then we'll go here. We will. Can I. Can I, like, drop it? That's just crazy. Well. I don't think this will fit. Maybe I am a little bit crazy. It doesn't work like that. Okay, well, we'll go down then. Now. <laughs> Will this explode? That didn't do nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh man, okay. Um Maybe I'm supposed to place it first and then go up and then use the pull cue. Perhaps. So we'll go down here. Run along here, we place this here. But a beam. Now we run back, climb up the ladder, and we run over here. And John, where are you? Now, yeah, just like that. Boom! Oh really? How we out? Now we climb back down. Oh, that's ringing. Now we can proceed. See, I can get back up to the crew quarters. Here we go. Back we are. And now I have this, so now we can head back. God, God forgive us. God forgive us. Now we'll place out the hologram. I don't think this will fit. Oh, here we go. Boop. Dancing babe. And now we need to get the computer to check. Boom, boom. Hold the babe. Access granted. Life support. Thank you. Atmospherics. I can understand why they had all the extra security. Okay, let's check on this corpse. Ronald! Ah, uh, poor Ronald. Is this it? Could this really be my golden opportunity? I've been transferred to security with a guy named Paul and some other guy whose name I don't quite remember. It sounded kinda like Sarge, so I'm just gonna call him Sarge. Either way, I'm glad, maybe. 
I'll finally make real friends. Paul is mean, but Sarge is okay. It looks like food supplies aren't coming in anytime soon. Damn, Ronald forgot the dates. People seem upset, but there's a lot of alcohol around. I don't think I don't drink much because my dad used to, and I, it got scary sometimes. Sarge is still nice when he's drunk, though. Sarge still nice when he's drunk, though. Even though he said I'd make a pretty girl. We got a mystery package from the cloning vest today. I was even allowed to type the terminal entry. It's supposed to go to lab 18. Sarge says we're gonna put it in a medical storage bay for now. Though, it makes really scary noises. It's named Samantha. I like the, I like the girl called, named Samantha once. But then this guy Anthony was stalking her. And then she moved away. Paul just read that over my shoulder and reminded me that the PDAs are for work-related logs only. I don't like Paul. Sorge said I can type whatever I want. The whole shit just shook. Uh, a whole lot of power is out everywhere. Everything is locked down. But we can, we can get through some of it because we're security. I hope nobody got hurt when things were flying around in here. People are trying to get the tram station B to work because A is closed. I think we killed some people today. Sarge is angry. He's beating on the window. I'm so confused. Uh oh. So young. Damn. Focus, John. Have a heart. Some of them are just fucking kids, dear. Don't you think I know that? You've only been awake a few hours now. I've been dealing with this for, for it seems like a lifetime. I'm sorry. You're right. Let's just get on with this. That was rough. Now, now, can I get that gas removed? And they said, oh yeah, they probably gassed all of them. Just like... What happened with the juice? I'm not making fun of that. I'm just, just came in, you know, just a thought that came into my head. Um, when vent atmosphere in tram corridor B. Oh. Atmosphere vented in tram station B. Okay, so that should be fixed. Let me just take a quick look at the security cameras. Ah, much better, much better. Well, can we see anything else funny here? But yeah, that's the party place. Ah, unfortunate. Here we go. And through here. Now I run up along here. And now you'll be able to open up. Bling. Control override. Open door. Thank you. I found her. Your daughter is in the medical bed. <gasps> All right, let's do this. Where's my oh there's my mouse. Me daughter reads in the medical base. Ugh. Well, actually, I think we're gonna pause there. So uh, yeah. I'll see you some other time. Goodbye. <laughs>